What's up, guys, and welcome back to Tactical Tuesday. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support this far. It's been amazing. If you guys are checking this video out, video out, make sure you guys head over to the link, links in the bio. Go over to the free giveaway. Get your chance to win that Operator Cobra belt from High Speed Gear. It's an awesome belt. I can't say enough good things about it. Also, um, today we're talking about Gray Man Theory. So we're going to get deep, kind of deep into it. My thoughts on it, especially with what I'm seeing uh, in the na in the here and now, as far as what Gray Man Theory really consists of. And yeah, we'll go into that. I also want to thank Rain City Tactical for being a huge sponsor of the channel. Make sure you guys head over to raincitytactical.com. Use code BFBN at checkout if you guys are ordering stuff offline. If you guys go over to the Rain City Shooting Center, if you're in the Kent area of Washington, they have a great range, great guys, full gun shop, uh, full tactical store. They sell custom holsters, great prices, especially if you're local. Get a membership. Can't go wrong with it. Um, that said, let's dive into Gray Man Theory. So I wanted to talk about Gray Man Theory this week because I feel like Gray Man Theory has shifted and people uh, trying to utilize Gray Man Theory have not shifted with it, right? So today we're going to look at a couple items, uh, look at a couple, you know, I guess loadouts, if you will, or like dress apparel, and we'll look at some like Images that, have, images that come up that really like kind of like signify to me what I see every day as well um, from people that I see practicing gray man theory. Um, but let's, let's just kind of uh, look at it really quick. So if you're trying to utilize gray man theory, right, which is the, your whole purpose for gray man theory is you don't want to stand out against the crowd as someone who has the ability to take on anything, right? You're, you're prepared for, whatever shit hits the fan scenario that's going to happen in that moment. And you have the utility and the know-how and the skills and the, you know, the soft and hard skills, you have everything you've been training, what have you. Right. But if you're doing that and you're walking around with a bag like this, that's not gray man. Okay. If you're running around with an Everest stock bag or a five eleven bag, you are going to give yourself away. Anyone with a trained eye, right? So like anyone with a trained eye is going to pick you out of that group immediately, right? Like it does, like when we when we think of gray man theory, right? Especially for like people that are in practicing using it today, like you want to hide from the trained eye, not the untrained eye. The untrained eye is not your threat. Truly, right? The trained eye is your threat. That's the whole purpose of the gray man theory, right? So if you're you wanted to utilize the gray man theory, but you're cruising around with this, you're a, you're a dead-ass giveaway, right? Same with this, right? If you have Molly on the outside of your bag, people are going to, with any sort of trained eye, are going to question you. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what color scheme it is, especially, but especially if that color scheme is black, gray, tan, brown, Olive drab, Ranger green, you know what I mean? Like you're just you're just giving yourself away. That's all there is to it, right? Let's look again. You know, like this is literally like basically like a civil a civilian uniform. You know, you see everyone in tan or green khakis, maybe a collared shirt or plaid, right? The uh, the bag with Molly on it, maybe some patches. You know, like this is literally. Not this is anything but gray man at this point, right? Same with this. We see this is a, a very standard thing as well. Like the backpack's maybe a little bit better. Like it's a little bit more college student esque. It's still fairly large. But I mean, then you look at the pants, the uh, you know the the proper belt, uh, the jacket, uh, the NVG bag, and I think that's like a, a maybe P ninety in there, which is nice you know uh but i mean like the boots like that that this is not gray man but when you look up gray man this these are the images that come up so we're, i'm just going over what we're seeing online right let's look at the next one so this is actually just people now you're gonna spot this from a million miles away this is not gray man this is anything but gray man okay this is not something that's going to get you by the trained eye at all and that thing is huge like i don't you must be packing like 
enough for fucking five people in there. <laughs> that thing is that thing is massive. Again, this isn't even practical either. Like anything this large wouldn't even suit you, right? Like th that's a terrible example of of gray man. These two dudes, terrible, ex terrible, terrible examples of, of the gray man theory. Like, any, again, anyone with a trained eye is going to see high in tights, fucking shades, like uh, tactical looking shades, uh, green or, you know, neutral color jackets, the tactical bags. This is not gray man. People need to realize gray man has shifted. Now that this is so prominent, this is no longer gray man. You need to start thinking in into the next step. Like, how do I really... How do I truly blend in with my era? Because these guys do not blend in. These guys look like undercover cops. They look like undercover feds. Like, there's nothing about them that screams, like, oh, I belong here. Like, I'm, I'm, this is normal. You know, like, this is, this is just, this is how everyone dresses. No, it's not. Same with this guy. See a tactical bag? Yep, yep, yep. In the corner. See the, see the Molly? Like, he's, He's a little bit closer, but then, you, but then again, the trained eye, right? We want to get away from attracting the trained eye. Look at the belt, the glasses, the watch, the shades, the bag. Like, he's already got five marks. Like, and even the shirt, it's like, uh, it's a little iffy. You know what I mean? And I know that you, it might not look like that to some people, but again, the trained eye is going to pick this dude out really easily, really fast. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing this nonstop, right? This guy, especially, right? Like you have all basically these are basically like camo tones, right? He has green, brown. He's got hood up, uh, a, like a well, it looks like to be a full jacket. You know what I mean? Like I can't really, I can't really tell what this is, but I mean, you know, he's got something that's. You know, it might just be the bag straps, but. You know what I mean? Like, you can kind of pick him out. He's not, again, not as bad as some of the other ones, but, like, again, it's those tones. It's the way you're going to carry yourself. Every single piece of gear that you wear, it's, it's, it's going to tip people off in one way or to one side or the other, right? And you don't want to have anything on you that attracts that trained eye. Now, am I saying that gray man is a bad thing? Or a good thing? No, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing. I'm saying it's a great thing if you know how to practice it correctly. And I don't think that uh, I don't. There's a lot of people that are just aren't doing it correctly. This used to be kind of okay. Like you could maybe get away with it because it wasn't it wasn't so common. But now it's so common that you know unless unless everyone else where you live dresses like this, which you know I don't. I mean I live in a place where this might be kind of likely and and even here it isn't <laughs> you know what i mean like you can still pick out those like undercover operators or whatever however, however you want to look at it you know this dude like come on like this is what comes up when you type this shit in like there's no way this dude passes like <laughs> look at this bag look at the high and tight look at the squared off shades you know what i mean like the trained eye is going to pick you out and Lastly, I, I will save the best for last. You know, like, this is what we see all the time right now. This exact character out in town. I see it all the time, right? Khaki pants, brown shirt, black bag, black sunglasses, moto high and tight. Looks like it maybe works out. You know what I mean? Like, you have to find some other way to blend in to your surroundings and we have to ditch this look because this look is going that just doesn't work anymore it's plain and simple this look for gray man does not work anymore right like it's just it's too apparent it's too and some might say oh well if it's so apparent and there's so many people doing it then maybe i do blend in and it's like the thing is, there's a lot of people doing it, but they're not all doing it together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there aren't 90 of these dudes all at Walmart at the same time, right? Might be a couple. But, like, again, those are the people that are going to get picked out from that crowd immediately, right? And there's some other people that have uh, some really good concept on the, concepts on this. Um, I was actually having this conversation with somebody else earlier today. If you look at, like, uh, Roger Barra, 
Um, you know, you go out rocking a, a turtle's tee and some regular jeans and some and some Skechers or something. You know, what I mean? like I'm not gonna wear Skechers personally, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if you wear overtly aggressive or trainer style stuff or tactical looking bags or you know whatever like those are just going to be key indicators right am i saying that i don't or do wear those things no like I, but the thing is like i don't really fucking care like that much like if i wanted to do gray man all i know is i'll say it this way all i know is that if i was gonna fall follow if i was trying to go out and be in that like gray man scenario where i didn't want to you know make it known who i was or that i was out there and ready or whatever like I'm just not going out like this. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go out with my 511 bag or my Everstock bag over my shoulder with my North Face black, you know, jacket on with fucking Ranger green pants and my hiking boots. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not, not going to be conducive to what I'm, what you're trying to get get by on you know what i mean so with that said uh i think i'm gonna wrap it up i just wanted to touch on this briefly because again i've been seeing a ton of it uh especially where i live um which is fine again i'm not knocking people for wanting to follow this theory it's a great theory i'm not knocking people for wanting to train or get out there and and be ready for that shit is the fan scenario because I think everyone should be ready for that shit hits the fan scenario. And it doesn't have to be in a major way. It could just be in your day. You know, I've got, pl- I've got tons of friends who've been held at gunpoint. They've been mugged. I've had friends who've been, you know, g- gotten into g- gunfights at liquor stores and gas stations. You don't know when that shit hits the fan scenario is going to happen for you. And that's, what's important. So take that into consideration, figure out your purpose something we hit on all the time on this channel. You know, why are you training? Why are you making the decisions you're making? Those are the most important pieces to, like, rounding out the way that you operate and how you're going to operate. You know, the why is so important. So with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow for Weapons Wednesday. Have an awesome night. Thank you guys again so much for all the love and support. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Share this out with your friends. I appreciate you guys. And again, as always, stay loose, battle on, and if you bitch in your heart, it'll show.